Good morning, folks. A fraudulent climate claim has been published and is about to tear through the media. Going to have to come close to breaking YouTube rules today in the show. But we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun with the most action visible being induced by the calibration roll of the satellite. That's the jitters it appears the satellite has there. Otherwise, a bunch of nothing on the sun, so we come to the solar wind. The coronal hole stream impacted Earth as expected, at a moderate intensity, and with benign magnetic character. Rather than coupling with the system, it was well deflected by the magnetosphere, and geomagnetic conditions are quiet for now. We are seeing a bit of a rise on the X-ray flux charts, small flares coming from an active region still behind the limb, watching for the appearance of another sunspot group here in about a day or so. First up in the articles is the Vikings. Turns out they were in the Americas long before Columbus and the rest of Europe. A solar storm has helped isotope date several pieces of wood which had unambiguous signs of tooling and craftsmanship with metal blades. There had always been the folklore that the Vikings arrived earlier, but there wasn't specific scientific proof of that earlier successful exploration until now. Up next, what a fantastic idea and article, Planets Colliding. Now, they didn't see it. They think it happened 200,000 years ago in light time, and they are studying the dust and gases in the disk around the star. They say the material can't be that old. They're having trouble explaining it. In fact, none of the other explanations fit the data, and so therefore it must be a planet collision, they say. And it sure might be, but they did not run the recurrent Nova scenario, and a long period one like that is going to spew off tremendous amounts and variety of materials. Now, last but not least, if you didn't know the 97% consensus on climate change was thoroughly debunked within weeks of it being published, they cherry-picked a fairly large sample, then excluded the majority of those studies as not fitting the bill, and frankly, that 97% number ended up being that you-can-prove-anything-with-statistics sort of fraud. There are a number of easily findable examples, and while the academic mathematical debunkings are great, the blogs aimed at explaining those debunkings are even better. Truly, if you use proper stats, that 97% became 1.6. No joke. Now, do more climate scientists in reality believe human-caused global warming than 1.6%? Oh yeah, no doubt. But that's their statistical fraud. Playing devil's advocate, letting them call the game, didn't turn out so well for them and that team is back. Now they're claiming 99% or more, and it's open source, folks, so you can read this for yourself. They did it again. Once more, they started with a large sample, over 88,000 papers. Wow. Then they began their weeding out. They weeded out the majority of skepticism so it wouldn't ruin their paper, and after counting down to 3,000 papers, finding only four skeptical, and a total of 28 out of their whole data set, they felt nice and comfortable claiming that more than 99%. Then, in the paper text, somehow 28 becomes 31 papers, and that's only if you ignore how many they were able to categorize into different forms of skepticism. You begin to realize they pulled the same mathematics they pulled the first time, and in terms of the papers upon which they stand, they don't even begin to touch the solar forcing. Most don't use CMIP6, and they certainly don't address the energy budget problem with a weaker field. Those, plus the funny math, force me to officially declare this specific climate claim a fraud. We greatly appreciate your support. Find our climate playlist to learn more on this topic. Get our textbook with over 500 citations that those climate fraudsters managed to miss in their so-called comprehensive analysis. Find it all at otf.cells.com. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.